With the resource list created, we're ready to begin a search. By selecting the Catalog tab at the top, you'll be in the Power Search window. The Power tab on the right should be in bold if you're in the correct spot. This is the place to be for any sort of in-depth research. In the Power Search window, you will have three fields for entering search terms. By each search field, there's a drop-down menu. You can use this to let Destiny know what type of search term you're entering. Sometimes you want to search by title or author, but in this case we're going to use keywords, which is how you'll probably start your research. Our topic for this example will be nuclear energy, so we might enter the simple search term nuclear. In fact, a good starting strategy in Destiny is to keep your keyword to just one or two single terms or common word strings. In this case, we could also use the word pairs nuclear energy or nuclear power. Remember, in such a keyword search, Destiny will look for your keywords, like our keyword nuclear, anywhere in the title or description of every item in our collection, and it will retrieve anything that matches up. So we've entered our term, and now we can click on search over on the right. Destiny will give a list of all the materials that matched up with our keyword. This is what's called the search results page. Check the number of results that were returned over on the left hand side. In this case, 155 results were found. This is quite a large number to wade through. So let me show you one useful way to narrow your search. By clicking on refining your search over here on the left hand side, Destiny will take you back to the search screen retaining all the keywords that you have put in before. At the middle of the search window you'll see an update button next to circulation type. If you click on update you'll see all the circulation types we use at this library. Currently they're all selected which is telling Destiny to look at every item that we own. But we can be more selective if we clear all the check marks at clear all and choose what we think will really be important for our topic. For iSearch, you'll want facts to support your topic, so you'll want to select nonfiction. For my topic, nuclear energy, I might like to see books on Japan in English that are on nuclear energy. I may also like to see ebook nonfiction to see if there's anything new in that format. Once I've selected the things that are useful to me, I'll click OK. This takes me back to the search window, and I can see my more specific instructions by the circulation type now. And I can ask Destiny for a brand new search by hitting the search button. Now you can see that my results have been pared down to 80, which is a much more manageable number. On the results page, notice that only 25 of those 80 can be shown on any one page. But if I go over here to show all on the right, I can click on that and all 80 of my results will be on one screen that I can scroll up and down to look at easily. At the top of our list is our very first entry which Destiny has organized because of relevance. You can see the sort by feature at the center. Every item on the list has some standard information. It has the title first and then it has the call number. Here is the call number for the first entry. The call number is absolutely necessary, and necessary in its entirety, including all the little numbers after the decimal place, if you're ever going to find it in the library. The other piece of information that's important on each entry is whether the book is available and how many copies we have. For our first entry, one out of one means that we have one book and it's available. The next entry says 0 out of 1, which means that we have one copy, but it's currently checked out. Please don't let those zeros discourage you. If you need an item that is checked out to someone else for your research, librarians will help you get a copy ASAP. You just need to let us know about your dilemma. For some research topics, having the latest information is absolutely vital. With the sort by feature up at the top, you can sort by date so that the most recently published items are listed first. If we go to the drop down menu we can find date and hit go which reshuffles our 80 entries 
so that the most recently published ones are at, at the top. And you can see the fourth item, for instance, is a book on Japan's energy situation after the Fukushima nuclear disaster. So I know I've managed to capture a very current book on this topic.